The average of six numbers is 75. How many of the numbers are equal to 75? Well, statement number one tells us that none of the six numbers is less than 65. So no number is less than 75. Well, that's an interesting piece of information. You might naively think, well, some of the numbers could be bigger than 75, but if the average is 75, then any number bigger than 75 would have to be av would have to be balanced out by a number less than 75. So the very fact that we're told that there are no numbers less than 75 means there also can be no numbers greater than 75. So this tells us right away, all by itself, that all six numbers equal 75. This statement by itself is sufficient. Now ignore statement number one, move on to statement number two. Statement number two, almost identical information. Now it's telling us that no number on the list is greater than 75. Well, again, the same problem. You might naively think that you could still have elements less than 75, but if the average is 75, any number less than 75 would have to be balanced by a number greater than 75, or else the mean could not equal 75. Anytime you have numbers above the mean, you must also have numbers below the mean and vice versa. And if you know that you have no numbers below the mean, that automatically means you cannot have any numbers above the mean. So this statement is also sufficient. All six numbers have to equal 75. If all this talk about means is confusing to you, I'd highly recommend check out magoosh.com. Magoosh.com has a few hundred videos to prepare you for all the math skills you need for the GMAT. It also has a few hundred additional videos on the verbal side, including videos that would explain quite clearly exactly what you need to know about mean for the GMAT. Statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two is sufficient. Answer choice D.